Hey, 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 Royal fans, let's dive into another headline. Meghan Markle, okay, I leaked some royal secrets. Duchess Meghan Markle is currently engaged in a humiliating lawsuit about alleged lies published about her. As part of that, it is revealed that, well, Meghan wanted to make sure that her recent book, Finding Freedom, told things in a certain way. On Wednesday, November 8th, Duchess Meghan Markle's legal team filed documents with the High Court. Those filing once again affirm that neither Meghan nor Harry communicated with or aided Omid Scooby and Carolyn Durand in their biography, Finding Freedom. But that doesn't mean that they weren't technically involved. The Duchess of Sussex's legal representatives shared that Meghan did speak with a friend. This friend, she knew, was working with the authors on their book. Meghan was worried that her fallout with her awful dad, Thomas Markle, might not be portrayed correctly. The claimant, Meghan, was concerned that her father's narrative in the media that she had abandoned him, the document states. Court papers continue. And had not even tried to contact him, which was false, would be repeated, when in fact she tried to call him and texted him. And had even written a letter to him to try to persuade him to stop dealing with the media, the documents note, and he had written back to her. Accordingly, she indicated to a person whom she knew had already been approached by the authors, the document explained. The filing continues. That the true position as above, which that person and several others who knew the claimant already knew, could be communicated to the authors. Megan's hope was simple, to prevent any further misrepresentation. She does not know to what extent or in what terms this one item of information concerning her communications with her father was shared with the authors, the document add. The court filing clarifies that Meghan did collaborate with Prince Harry and with Communications Secretary Jason Snuff. The collaboration was on the now infamous letter that she sent to her father. However, the Sussex legal team stresses that this collaboration on a private letter was not as reported part of a media strategy. Once it had been decided that the claimant would write to her father, the documents explained. The claimant informed Mr. Snuff. The filing elaborates, Mr. Snuff was not only a trusted advisor who had spoken to the claimant's father repeatedly, particularly in the lead up to the wedding, and was aware of the state of his health. The documents continued, but he was also responsible for reporting, as was required by palace protocol. The fact that the claimant was going to write to her father to more senior people in the royal household all of whom had to be kept appraised of any public-facing issues, the filing notes. The media spectacle surrounding Mr. Markle being one such issue, Meghan first drafted the letter on her phone, which she shared with Harry and Jason for support, as this was a deeply painful process that they lived through with her. Well, there you have it, guys. More interesting news on the Duchess of Sussex and all the drama that surrounds her everyday life. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to see you guys tomorrow with the latest installment. That's all from me, your host, Sheldon Moon, and goodbye for now.